Hello. Hello. Have you come to sing? Um, I just came to, um... Soprano? Mezzo. Ah, oh, lovely, just what we need. Where have you been hiding? Good question. Well, you're here now and, and uh, just in time, as they say. Why not? Thank you. Stephen? Mm, no. <clears throat> Stephen, Jane was telling me that you have a, a beautiful uh, theorem. That proves that the universe um, had a beginning. Is that it? That was my PhD thesis. My new project disproves it. D uh, disproves it. Yeah. Oh. Um. So then you you no longer believe in the creation. What one believes is. Irrelevant in physics. Irrelevant in physics. Oh. <clears throat> I see. Stephen's done a U-turn. The big new idea is that the universe has no boundaries at all. No boundaries, no beginning. And no God. Oh. Oh, I see. I, uh, I thought that um, you'd prove the universe had a beginning and thus a need for a creator. Um, <laughs> my mistake. No, mine. Stephen is looking for a single theory that explains all the forces in the universe. Therefore, God must die. Uh, why must God die? I, I don't see. The two great pillars of physics are quantum theory, the laws that govern the very small particles, electrons and so on, and general relativity. Ah, uh, yes, Einstein. Einstein's theory, the laws that govern the very large planets and such. But quantum and relativity... Don't tell me. They're different? They don't remotely play by the same rules. If the world were all potatoes, then easy. You could trace a precise beginning, as Stephen once did. A moment of creation. Hallelujah. God lives. If you incorporate peas into the menu, well, then it all goes a little... Tits up. <laughs> yes, haywire. Just all becomes a godless mess. Oh, dear. <laughs> Einstein hated peas. Quantum theory, he said, God doesn't play dice with the universe. Seems he not only plays dice, but he throws them where we can't find them. God is back on the endangered species list. <laughs> Well, I expect he'll cope. Oh, physics is back in business. Yes. Physics is back in business. I said, I have long been looking for a model of the universe. 
I finally found her. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> Stephen, I need to steal you. The contract's arrived. Could you just give us a minute, please, Jane? There we go. Like new. Who are we? Why are we here? If we ever learn this, it would be the ultimate triumph of human reason. For then we would know the mind of God. Do you mean this? Yes. Of course. So you're acknowledging him? However... However what? Are you actually going to let me have this moment? You are welcome. Professor Hawking, you have said you do not believe in God. Do you have a philosophy of life that helps you? You have said you do not believe in God. Do you have a philosophy of life that helps you? It is clear that we are just an advanced breed of primates on a minor planet orbiting around a very average star in the outer suburb of one among a hundred billion galaxies. But, ever since the dawn of civilization, people have craved for an understanding of the underlying order of the world. There ought to be something very special about the boundary conditions of the universe. And what can be more special than that there is no boundary? And there should be no boundary to human endeavor. We are all different. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. While there is life, there is hope. <laughs> 